Well, hello, God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I want to begin by saying Happy Independence Day. Now, I know you didn't think that you would go through uh, Independence Day on this Thursday and not hear from me. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad. I'm so excited about the things that are going on, and uh, and I'm excited about this opportunity to speak to you, and uh, you see that I am draped by two very important flags. Still got my Jesus proud flag here uh, on the left side, but I have old glory here on the right. And we're about to take the Jesus pride flag and fold it up a little bit, but we're going to celebrate, praise God all day long. Uh, the uh, old glory. I'm listen, 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 listen. I'm proud to be an American. I thank God that the God of the Bible allowed me to be born in this country. Brother Gary, when people ask me about the slave trade, the slave trade, you know what I tell them? I hate it. It was horrible. It was horrible that people, number one, had slaves to sell. I think that ought to be brought up. Slaves to sell. And uh, and uh, and I think it was horrible that people would sell across and buy slaves. Black folk had slaves to sell. The white man went and bought them. But when I consider what God has allowed to happen as a result of that wicked thing led to me being born in this country, the greatest country in the world, I say to the Lord, thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to be born an American. I want to read something to you. This is from, uh, this is from the Continental Congress, uh, July the 3rd, 1776, recorded by John Adams. And uh, he said this on July 3rd, 1776, the day after Congress approved the wording of the Declaration of Independence, John Adams wrote, to his wife, Abigail, reflecting on what he shared in Congress and the prophetic insight declaring the importance of that day. <clears throat> and here's what he said. I am apt to believe that it will be celebrated by succeeding generations as the great anniversary festival. It ought to be commemorated as the day of deliverance by solemn acts of devotion to almighty God. It ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade, with shows, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, and illuminations from one end of the continent to the other from this time forever. And here we are in 2024 celebrating what took place uh, on uh, uh, July the 3rd. And then, of course, uh, July the 4th was, is the birth of America. And, uh, you know, uh, the Declaration of Independence. We're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. I just want to read a line or two from it. Uh, declaring this country's independence from across the pond, from uh, England from the queen and we wanted to set up a, a form of government where people could worship the Lord freely and my God, we've done it now. Now we got problems. We have problems in this country of ours, but I'll tell you what, it's still the greatest country in the world. It's worth defending. I'm grateful to be a part of it. And I hope, I hope you are enjoying your 4th of July. I want to encourage you, especially if you look like me, don't get with the mad crowd. <clears throat> don't get with the crowd that say, well, what do we have to celebrate? And if someone asks you that, tell them everything. Tell them the truth. Tell them everything. No, we didn't uh, 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 gain our independence that day, but it set things in motion where we would be free. And how about this? You're free today. You're free now. Praise the Lord. And, uh, and I pray that you don't allow yourself to fall prey to the new slave masters. The new slave masters, and these are cruel masters indeed, are drugs, 
bad decisions, bad behavior. It's meth. It's uh, promiscuity. It's immorality. These are the new uh, slave masters, the new slave masters out there. When you refuse to be educated, new slave masters, when you won't work, you won't apply yourself, you won't take advantage of the opportunities that are set before you. New slave masters, you put things in your body that you ought not to put in your body and you do things to yourself that you ought not do. These are the new slave masters and these slave masters are cruel. But there is a deliverance for those of you who are watching. I want you to know that Jesus Christ said this in John's gospel, chapter number eight and verse 31 and 32. The Lord said, then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. If you continue in my word, you are my disciples indeed. That is, you will be my disciples for real. I mean, after you meet me and if you continue in my word, you're going to be my disciples indeed. And look at this, Brother Gary, look at this promise that Jesus made. He said, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Well, I'm here to tell you that the truth is Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. Jesus Christ, praise the Lord, brought us biblical Christianity. And I want you to know that he's ready, willing, and able to forgive you of your sins, to set you free, to give you the ability to be happy, to have joy in your heart, to to enjoy your family. I pray that you take the time today to enjoy family, to enjoy friends, to enjoy loved ones, and uh, and to celebrate, to reflect on the importance of uh, what have transpired, the independence of our country. Oh my, I just thank God for being so good to us. Oh, then by the way, I, you know what, Brother Gary, I, I, I had to bring him up uh, and, and I'm getting ready to go because I want you to join me tonight. There's a word from the Lord tonight that's going to set your soul on fire. But I wanted to bring up, uh, how can I talk about Independence Day and the freedom of this nation? And oh my, how can I bring it up and not mention the man? The one and the only Crispus Attucks. Crispus Attucks, this powerful man. His birthplace was Framingham, Massachusetts, uh, 1723. Uh, Death, he died in Boston, uh, Massachusetts, March 5th, 1770. Burial place, Boston, Massachusetts. He was a part of the Boston Massacre. This man. Christmas Addicts was the first man to die for the revolutionary freedom of this country. And Gary's going to show him on the screen. He looked just like me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Isn't it amazing that a man of the darker hue, and uh, I want you to know he was a brave warrior, And I want to encourage every one of you. That's a good thing you can do today. Look up, look up his history. Read about this courageous, courageous man who was of mixed uh, ancestry. Praise the Lord. He was a tremendous man and uh, he died for the revolutionary freedom of our country. And America was much harder on people who look like us then than she is today. And yet. He stood shoulder to shoulder and he died to give these rights of freedom to us today. So I just want to say, let's celebrate. Enjoy yourself. Now we have had a wonderful, oh Gary, I feel something. Having to fold it up, having to fold it up and pray for me because I may unfold it next week. But having to fold it up, even when I was out in uh, 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 St. Louis at Ain. We, we, we took pictures. People wanted to know about the flag and uh, our Jesus pride. What a month it has been. And some extraordinary things have taken place this month. There have been extraordinary conversations and the Lord has blessed us. And uh, I, I, I tell you, look at this. Look at this. We're, 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 we're celebrating 
old glory. Hallelujah. I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud to be free. I tell you, I tell people all the time that you won life's lottery just by being born here. And I want to say to you, make sure, praise God, that we're now that we're free, don't you fall prey to the new slave masters. The new slave masters, they're the worst uh, ones ever. They're worse than the slave masters of yesteryear. What are the new slave masters? Drugs, promiscuity, bad decision making, a failure to take advantage of all the opportunities that this country uh, has to offer, a, fa a failure to get educated, putting bad things in your bodies, exercising poor judgment, turning your back on God's truth. Do you hear me, my friends? These are wicked slave masters. They will uh, uh, suck the life out of you, putting cigarettes in your lungs. Let me tell you something. The Bible says, look not upon wine when it is red. The Bible teaches that we're to stay away from it when it is fermented. These are slave masters. Treat your wife right. Treat your children right. Love your husband. Walk in biblical morality. Uh, the, these other sin can, the, the Bible speaks of the cords of sin. Sin will wrap itself around you and be the worst slave master of them all. But I want you to know that Jesus Christ will set you free. So my friends, I just thank you for watching. And tonight we're going to have an awesome service. And Brother Gary, do I need to remind them that we're not going to be here tonight in person. Now, there's a word from the Lord, but tonight we're going to uh, have our service, but the service will be presented online only. What I'm doing for this 4th of July is I'm following uh, the spirit of our presiding bishop for as long as I can remember in the Church of God in Christ. Every 4th of July, we were at the National AIM Convention. As a matter of fact, uh, most of our conventions uh, fall on holidays. And I appreciate Bishop J. Drew Shedd and his, uh, depart, his desire to move the, uh, the convention from the holiday so that people could spend uh, the holiday with their family. Just so happens that this 4th of July is on a Thursday night, which is our normal church night. And I thought it, uh, I, 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 I thought it necessary. I wanted to give the saints uh, tonight off uh, this 4th of July and uh, to be able to spend the time with the family operating in the spirit of the national church. It gives you truly a little break, you know, with the campaign and everything that's going on. And I just want to say this is not a sign of things to come because we will be right back here uh, this Sunday churching and praising the Lord and certainly the saints uh, have in a kind way let me know that they appreciate the gesture. So even though we're having service tonight, I don't want to mislead you and have you coming out to the physical location. So st uh, watch us online, wherever you are, wherever you may be celebrating, pull out the old iPhone there or whatever uh, you, uh, whatever your means are and, and tune in to the upper room church of God in Christ because God has given me a word and I'm excited about it. And you are going to be blessed as we join each other for Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're going to study the word of the Lord together online this time. And the Lord is going to bless you real good. There is a word from the Lord. And trust me, you're going to be blessed by it. Now, happy Independence Day to you. Enjoy your time off. And we will see you, the Lord willing, Sunday. God bless.